and I know that all things. From this chair, I've experienced all of life. Love, hate, war, peace, pizza, and water. I am the architect philosopher, and I know all. So listen to me, because I have thought on all topics. <laughs> the armchair philosopher. A lot of people spend a lot of time kind of researching things. If you're like me, you're someone who kind of procrastinates by looking at things, searching things, gaining all this knowledge, and you never actually really apply it. You know, you're like, oh, I'm so smart. I know all these things. You know, I have all this great wealth of knowledge, but there's a difference between actually applying it and knowing it, you know? It's like, can you talk the talk? You can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk, you know? Can you show it? And I think that's one of the most important things because the people that we find most inspiring are the people that have pushed the limits, showed their potential, and kind of showed us what we could become. And a part of this is philosophy, but sometimes it isn't, you know, sometimes it's just hard work and putting in the grind, but what if there were people that had the knowledge of philosophy and all of the intellect of that, that actually applied it and used it to kind of push mankind forward and push it forward in a healthy kind of manner rather than behind this huge paywall or behind this kind of politics behind like for sports or for for actors or all these kind of people that we look up to you know or behind steroids and these sorts of things you know and lots of these things aren't really realistic for everyone so like what does it mean to be an inspiring kind of normal person what does it mean to be a philosopher in every day so what's something that everyone hates to do and that answer is squats and that's what I'm going to do why because I don't know I just wanted to show that you have to put in the work and you have to show the results and that actually is what um inspires people you know when you nobody sees all these work all this work that you put in you know nobody really cares about all this knowledge that you have unless it directly benefits them and people only really care or take notice when you actually have the results and you show them you know like oh this person looks like he's well put together I wonder what he did you know and then they get interested and you know, oh, this person's put a lot of effort into their body, you know, and it looks natural. I wonder what he did, you know, he put in a lot of effort for that because I saw him when he looked like this and now he looks like that. All of this knowledge that we get from YouTube, philosophy, whatever, it's useless if you don't actually put it into your life and you don't actually take action to it because then you're actually not doing anything, you know, like I've talked about it in past videos, so I'm breathing heavily already. Um, the importance of kind of deciding what you want for your life and building your habits little by little to reinforce the identity of who you want to become rather than just subscribing to someone else's and or even just doing your normal habits without questioning them and kind of getting stuck in this cycle of philosophy where you're just always searching, researching things, finding out information but never actually finding out anything for yourself. And finding out things for yourself comes from direct experience. So do shit.